once upon a time, I fell to earth. In 1937, in an empty field, a man watched what he would later name the Corvid Meteor Shower. For eight days, meteors fell from the sky. But the funny thing is, there's very little record of it. For eight days, dozens of shining lights streaked across its inky blackness and then vanished without a trace, never to be seen or heard of again. And that's because on the eighth day, the man found something he'd never expected. He found that amongst the cold dust and lifeless rock, a living, breathing star was falling. It was a night like this one, you know? The air was cool, the sky was dark, and the stars, all my friends, lit up this lonely little world and made it shine. When we met my friend and I, he said he was something called an astronomer, which he told me meant he studied the stars. It was flattering, but I also remember thinking it was a little bit creepy. <laughs> to be honest, when I first noticed his telescope and realized he'd been spying on us, I kind of wanted to give him a piece of my mind. But it was never really like that. He taught me how you see up there from down here. How it felt to lie in the grass, feel the dew dapple on your skin, to look up and just see. See how the sky became a rich tapestry of colors dancing across an endless void, giving form to the formless and light to the darkness. He painted me a more beautiful picture of the sky, my home, than I'd ever known. I think that's why I decided to stay for a while. Birthdays, holidays, seasons, gone. Young man, middle-aged, walking cane, gone. I knew from the beginning that's how it would be, how time would pass, how he would go. And before I knew it, I sat alone on our hill, looking through our telescope at a sky that didn't seem so bright anymore. It had changed, and so had I. I slept for a while then, putting off that colorless tomorrow for a little longer. When I woke up, though, I made a choice. I can't bring back the color that's been lost, that I lost. But I can try to paint something different, something just as wonderful. So come on, the air is cool, the sky is dark, and you all, my friends, are here. So let's light up this lonely little world and make it shine.